Yeah, this all dates back nearly two years ago. Pamela Lopez says she was at a party in Las Vegas when Assemblyman Matt Dabobny trapped her in a single-use restroom and began masturbating. California Assemblyman Matt DeBobney has been representing the San Fernando Valley for the last four years. But during that time, Sacramento lobbyist Pamela Lopez says he accosted her at a Las Vegas party, forcing his way into a restroom and exposing himself to her. He moved toward me while he was masturbating and in explicit terms told me to touch his genitals while he was masturbating. Lopez says this happened in January 2016 and that she told friends and family but never filed a police report or a complaint. I was also terrified of being shunned or retaliated against if the Capitol community knew what happened to me. So I, I made my closest friends and loved ones swear, swear to secrecy. This afternoon, the 36-year-old Dababne released a written statement through his attorney. Quote, I affirmatively deny that this event ever happened at any time. I am saddened by this lobbyist effort to create this falsehood and make these inflammatory statements apparently for her own self-promotion and without regard to the reputation of others. I look forward to clearing my name. But Lopez says other women have been accosted by Dababne as well. It was pretty much an open secret in the San Fernando Valley that this is how Matt behaved. Jessica Yaz Barker worked with DeBobney and Congressman Brad Sherman's San Fernando Valley office from 2009 to 2010, before DeBobney was elected to the assembly. His conduct ranges from unwanted touching to verbal abuse, verbal harassment, and much worse. And these women fear coming out because of the retaliation. Barker admits never reporting to Bobney's behavior, and today Sherman issued a statement saying he had no idea this kind of behavior may have occurred. Quote, we are redoubling our efforts to make sure that my offices are safe and comfortable places for women and men to work. Now, Lopez first spoke of the incident seven weeks ago, but didn't name Dababney until today. She filed a complaint with the Assembly Rules Committee this morning, detailing her accusation, but has not filed a criminal complaint against him.